Ladies and gentlemen, every year it feels like the Grammys get more and more of a meme. You gotta be joking, right? Now, I've looked at this Grammy listing. We actually looked at it yesterday from the time of me recording this yesterday on stream, which would have been Monday. We reacted to this and we looked over it on stream together. And bro, the, the rap category, uh, all the rap categories are just like, what? Let's just go through the big ones real quick. Obviously, record of the year and album of the year are going to be the biggest ones. ABBA, tired of them, bro. Y'all had y'all's shit 40 years ago, 30 years ago. Let the kids come in and play already. Stop nominating ABBA just because they're ABBA. It could have been a good ass album, but it, it irks me when it comes to things like that. Anyway, easy on me, Adele. Obviously, Adele's always going to be in the running for any Grammy. Anytime she drops an album, she's going to have record of the year, song of the year, album of the year, all these nominations. Every time I'm going to go to Adele, she's built for the Grammys. Beyonce, Break My Soul, solid track. It's a banger. Goes crazy at the clubs. You know how it goes. Didn't listen to Mary. Don't care about Brandi Carlisle whatsoever. Woman by Doja Cat, Mad Old. Kendrick Lamar, The Heart Part 5. About Damn Time, Lizzo, Mad Catchy. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to be Grammy like worthy. And then obviously Harry Styles as it was. I'm expecting Harry Styles heads, all the stands about to be livid over this Grammy. I don't think he's going to win most of the categories. Um, this track, I mean, he's going up against Adele. I, I feel like Adele is always going to be a potential winner. And then Kendrick Lamar, the heart part five. That's the type of song that I don't listen to on the regular. But when I hear it for the first couple of times, I'm like, bro, this is a masterpiece of a track. I'm going as it was break my soul to the heart part five. Everything else kick rocks album of the year 30 by adele voyage abba once again get out of there un verano sin ti by bad bunny that is definitely one that potentially could be album of the year but the grammys isn't really big on giving non-english awards in english categories i don't know what that's going to look like i would understand if it won but i'm not sure if it's going to renaissance good the first couple of listens wasn't for me good morning again didn't hear it mary j blige brandy get out of here coldplay coldplay is always mad consistent and i know the bts motherfuckers are gonna want coldplay to win so if they win i understand but mr morale and the big steppers that's gonna be the one that i'm like it's not gonna be my top 10 rap album of the year but it is definitely grammy worthy level of of musicianship and then harry styles harry's house fine line as an album to me was better than harry's house so i don't think i want that one to win for me it's gonna be kendrick be cool if coldplay wins too obviously 30 is always gonna be up there and bad bunny's always gonna be i take that back not always but he's kind of a force in the last year in the united states passing drake and, and people of that notoriety it'd be dope if he wins but i don't know if he's going to song of the year a b c d e f u get out of here about damn time eh all too well don't even oh taylor swift eh as it was okay it's just i mean it's just okay uh it wasn't my favorite single off the album bad habit steve lacy bring my soul easy on me good kid or god did god did bro the only reason that that song is there is because of jay-z's verse jay-z carried that whole track so if it's, it's not verse of the year it's song of the year so get out of here the heart part five and just like that don't even know who that is it's probably gonna be adele bro it's probably gonna be adele outside of that i mean what do we have pop category easy on me masculine mool woman bad habit about them ten as it, i feel like every single one of these pop nominees i feel like they're all the same i feel like if harry styles is is in the pop song of the year he's gonna be in record of the year gonna be in song of the year album of, you know like there's no variety like are you telling me that doja cat steve lacy lizzo harry bad bunny and adele were the only ones to put out good pop singles ain't no fucking way on to why we're here for my demographic obviously we're gonna have rap and this is where the grammys is just a fucking joke every time bro how are these the tracks and how are these the albums that they said oh these are the ones dog fuck all the other albums these are the ones best rap performance god did i mean it's a good track but it's not even the best track on the album vegas doja cat the sample that they use from elvis the way they mixed it into the mix amazing that'd be fire if that one wins pushing p i'm good on fnf i'm good on Heart Part 5, Vegas, those are my two. The Heart Part 5 is just a masterpiece. It's not as listenable as Vegas, but masterpiece nonetheless. It's a perfect continuation of the Heart series. Best melodic rap performance. Now we're getting into the bullshit. Beautiful by DJ Khaled, Future, and SZA. That one's good. I'll take that. That is That's a better track than God did. Wait for you, Future, Drake, and Thames. If this track doesn't win, bro. 
I'm liable to quit YouTube. How is First Class by Jack Harlow on the melodic rap? I need to know. There is not a single moment where Jack Harlow is rap singing. Like this is just here because he's Jack Harlow. That's the only reason that he's here. Die Hard, not as good as Wait For You. Big Energy, I'm good. Female rap sucks, at least most of it. Bro, if Wait For You don't win or if Beautiful don't win, I swear to God, if Jack Harlow wins anything that he is nominated for, it's gonna be Macklemore and Good Kid Mad City all over again. Best rap song, Churchill, Churchill Downs is a better song than first class by jack harlow god did why bro okay with god did the hard part five crazy rapping the cadence the rhyme schemes the subject matter push and pee mad catchy memeable if it doesn't go to churchill downs the heart part five or wait for you garbage ass award show and then this this is the most egregious list that i have seen in a while best rap album of the year this is how you know that the grammys are a popularity contest and that the academy that votes for the grammys is not in tune with rap music and and i'm not saying that these albums are bad necessarily i'm just saying that there's better albums than some of these god did dj khaled i never liked you future not gonna lie future's album kind of bopped but there are better albums than his this year come home the kids if jack harlow wins best rap album over mr morale and the big steppers or it's almost dry by Pusha t Jack Carlo's album is good, okay? It's not the worst album that I've ever heard, but there are easily five albums off the top of my dome that are better than it and God did. Denzel Curry, Jid, Ramona Park, Vince Staples, Freddie Gibbs, Soul Sold Separately. Okay, I can't think of the fifth one, but there's at least four. This rap category is the weakest that I maybe have ever seen. Ever since that shit happened with Kendrick and, and Macklemore, just gone downhill. That's the shit that opened our eyes into how flawed the Grammys nomination and award system is. Good Kid Mad City is one of the most iconic rap albums all time. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is not the level of Good Kid Mad City, but it's easily better than Come Home, The Kids Miss You, I Never Liked You, God Did. The only album that's up there with it is Pusha T's Almost Dry. Just the fact that the other three are here, one means that it's popularity contest. Two, if Drake put out Come Home, The Kids Miss You, if anybody but Jack Harlow put out Come Home, The Kids Miss You, it's not getting nominated for best rap album. It's not even on the list. The Grammys, bro. Just a, a joke of an award show. The thing about the Grammys that rubs people the wrong way is that it tries to, it pretends to be like this unbiased, we are the we are the cream of the crop awards show the grammys if you don't have one you're nobody yet but at the end of the day it's what pulls views and it's what pulls it's what popularity is denzel curry is not going to be of grammy size artists freddie gibbs is not going to be grammy style music but the albums in the hip-hop community are undeniably some of the better albums of the year and definitely the fact that DJ Khaled is on here at all. The Grammys are just so out of touch with the number one genre of music in the world. At least when it comes to the Billboard Awards, when it comes to the MTV Music Awards, like these award shows, they're more relaxed. They're not so formal. So Jack Harlow, if he sweeps the billboards, fine. You went crazy on the billboards. God did fine your album's hype but we're talking about artistic we're talking about artistic prestige and three of the five on here are not that three of the five on here could easily be replaced and the list would exponentially get better at this point the only reason that i watch the grammys is for the performances that's the only reason that we watch the grammys um because i've been let down too many times in the past with not even the nominees but the winners you know what i mean it is what it is i guess